iOS 13 has been out for around 48 hours in beta mode to developers. Now, I've been trawling through it and trying to get the best features. This video goes through some of those. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get my next video as soon as it arrives. So my friends, in this video, I've pulled out my top features from iOS 13, and I'm gonna show them to you in just a second. Now, also, I have done a Watch OS 6 review, and that is linked up above, so be sure to check that out for yourselves. Now, the first new feature that we're gonna cover is this volume control, and as you can see, it's very, very simple. You literally just click on the volume, and a little graphic appears on the left-hand side. Now, if you slide out, then that makes that graphic bigger, and then you can control the volume. It's a very, very simple thing, but I think it works really well. The next feature I'm gonna show you is one that's been so long overdue, it's incredible. It's been on Android devices for, well, since God was a boy, and that's dark mode and it really does make a welcome difference to your whole interaction with your phone especially obviously at night it's just so nice now to see that dark screen now there is also thought that because these are oled displays that you will see a battery saving as well when you're operating your phone at night but how good do settings look it looks absolutely incredible at the moment, not all applications will automatically feature dark mode. It may well be that you have to go into settings and then find the individual application and then switch it over. And it may well be that some apps just won't work at all in it. We'll have to wait and see how this develops over the course of the releasing of the next betas, but it's certainly something which is gonna be welcome to most people. Now, you can also schedule things with this. It's very, very intuitive. So if you go into settings, and then you go down to display and brightness, you'll now see you've got the option just to switch between light and dark. You can also go down and look at things like night shift, and then you can schedule from when it will be in night and when it won't be. You can make the screen more warm and less warm. You really do have a lot of options to customize your phone. Now, you can also make it automatic. There is a section just at the top there on the right-hand side. You can click on that so it goes into automatic mode. And then you can set it for either sunset to sunrise, and that will depend on obviously your location, or you can actually schedule it and actually put physical times in. But what a great feature that we've now got. Again, I'm going to show you this in dark mode. And again, Android lovers, look away now because you will think that I have gone back in time. The next feature, which I absolutely love, is the swipe to type. And it really is easy. For this being a beta one, it is incredible how well this is working. And as you can see, I'm just swiping around on the keyboard and I'm typing swiping keyboard at last. But a great new feature. So the next feature is without doubt one of my favorites, and it's very, very simple. Within Control Panel, you can now join different Wi-Fi networks, different Bluetooth devices. It's so, so simple. All you do is go to that section, and then you click on the Force Touch, and then it will bring up the options that you've got. Obviously, with the other things like airplane mode and mobile data on and off, it will just literally turn those on and off. There's nothing else to do there. But in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you literally click on it and it will bring up the list of the Wi-Fi networks around you. And also with your Bluetooth, you will be able to select different Bluetooth outputs, which is great if you're connecting it to a musical device, like a speaker, for instance, and you don't have all that hassle of going through settings. Again, it's something which we've asked for for a long time, but it's great to see that now, just with a couple of presses, you can now access this. So I love that feature. This next one is in messages, and this is just a little bit of fun. The Animojis have been updated, and you have got a few more now. You've got a mouse an octopus and I can't remember what the other one was. It was a cow or a bull. I don't know. But anyway, nice feature to have. But one of the features that I really like is now the stickers because it's something which you can do yourself. And again, you can edit them. So now if you want to send someone just a sticker, it's very, very easy. Next to the Animoji icon is the stickers icon. And this will work with the emojis that you've made and also the stock ones. So for instance, there's this girl here. Now what I like about this, this girl here is wearing glasses at the moment, but if we want to take the glasses off, for instance, so we'll change that and now we'll come back out. And what you'll notice is that all of those stickers 
that we were done before with glasses, all of those now have no glasses. And this works with all of the ones that you've edited yourself. Now, this doesn't work with any of the stock ones, so you can't go in and then start to edit anything with the stock ones. But that's a nice little feature. The Photos application has undergone a major change and I really love this. Now the feature I love the most is the fact that at the bottom there you can now see all photos, days, months or years and literally you can scroll across those and select them. Now if you go to all photos another brilliant feature is you can literally just pinch out and pinch in to a different time and as you can see on the left at the top there it gives you the year that you're in and now it gives you the month and then it gives you the day so literally as soon as you zoom in it makes it so quick. How many times have you gone through your photographs previously and literally been scrolling and scrolling trying to find one and here I am October 2015 is that 26 16 at a U2 concert at the O2 in London. So that is just a simple but brilliant addition to the photos and I absolutely love it. Now the next feature is a change to the video application. Now as you scroll through your videos now the video will automatically start to play. So as I turn this around you can see I'm scrolling from one here and then if I scroll to the next video it begins to play immediately. There's no longer do you have to then click on it and then click play. There's also been major changes in the fact that you're now able to rotate video and also edit video. And it's brilliant and it works great. So I'm just gonna film this little panorama of my desk. I'm using just a standard video mode and I've captured that. But when you go into it, you can literally go in and apply filters, you can change the lighting, you can make all of the same effects that you would do with photos, and it's incredible how quickly it processes it. Now, we all know that the phone has got great processing power, but I was even surprised how quickly it would render these videos and change the colors and apply the filters. You can literally have loads of fun with it, and I'm sure other people will be showing what they can do, so look out for those videos on YouTube coming soon. So the next one is a bit of fun, but it's a nice feature and it's to do with music. If you've got a music track playing, there's now a button in the bottom left corner that you can click and that will load the lyrics to the song. And as you're playing the song, which I'm not doing now for obvious copyright reasons, but as you're playing the song, the, the, the lyrics to that song will then scroll through. And so if you or a family member, children want to sing along, then it's a brilliant way of doing that. And I imagine this would be good for karaoke nights where you've got this streaming, for instance, to an Apple TV. Very good feature. The next updated feature relates to health and there's big changes in the health app. I'm not gonna go into all of them now, but one thing I love is the summary screen. It's very clear and easy to read. Now, there is a new section on hearing, and this links in with the Watch OS 6, where there's now a listening thing, and the phone will also listen to judge the amount of sound and noise around you. And it will actually give you some information of how that noise has been over the course of the last few days. Was it about right? Was it too high? And it's designed to let you help protect your hearing. Now, I don't know whether this, and I mentioned this in my video on the Watch OS 6 application review, I don't know whether this is linking then to some other forthcoming applications or whether this is just literally about ear health, but it's something which is a new feature and I quite like anything that's new when it comes to health. Now, finally, Reminders. Reminders is a brilliant application. It always has been pretty good, and I use it with Siri and just tell them to remind me to do stuff. Now, all of these things are now categorized, and it's very easy to see all of the different things that you want to do in terms of your reminders. And again, this works with your Apple Watch as well if you've got that, and it's great to set reminders on there. So my friends, this is just 10 features which I think is brilliant in iOS 13. I'm sure there's gonna be more that I find. Now don't forget to watch my Watch OS 6 review which goes through all of the new features or certainly all of the best features in Watch OS 6. There's absolutely loads of things. It's packed full of brand new features. I'll link that up above and in the description. So check that out guys. But as always, thanks so much for watching this video. If you've got any comments, if you think iOS 13 is gonna be great for you, or you think it's a pile of pants, just leave a comment in the box below and give this video a like if you found it helpful. Thanks again, my friends, for watching and I will see you on Don't the next Don't forget video. to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get my next video as soon as it arrives.